Hey guys, it's Scandalous JR. It's your boy. And I have come to you to start a new series called For the Gay Culture. And I will be talking about different things that we go through as gay people, as homosexuals, um, whether you're any part of the LGBT community. Hopefully we'll get to have some people come in and you know, talk about their life or whatever's going on. But for today, I have been asked a lot about my coming out story. And I have not been... <laughs> I haven't found a good time to tell that story over 20 years, but today's a good, today is a good day. Um, okay, so, it started around 19 when I was summoned to my parents' um, bedroom and they said they, my father was doing the talk and my mother was doing this. And my father said, well, we haven't seen any girls around here lately. Um, I think the last one, I can't remember the girl's name, that's how bad it is, but her sister's name was Helena and I remember her name because I used to like her and I liked her name, but Anyway, you know, we haven't seen any girls around here lately, and um, we saw this episode of Oprah where someone wanted to kill themselves because they didn't have anybody to tell that they were gay. And uh, all I saw was my mama eyeballing me like this, and then I said, no, I'm not gay. And then they said, oh, okay. That was it. Some time go by. Um, you should know that I was very sheltered. Uh, it was always go to school, come straight home. No extra uh, activities, no, no, no sports, no chess team, no whatever, no music, definitely no music. Um, uh, I definitely was not cultivated in this household. So, I started breaking out and getting my own time and my mother was not liking that. She likes her little supply. She's narcissist. She likes her little supply. Her, she's narcissistic personality disorder. She likes her little supply where it is at all times. And I was breaking out. You know, I'm 19, what the fuck? I gotta get out the house. Uh, so one day a friend of hers, husband left her daughter uh, no, sorry, I got it mixed up. The daughter left her husband and the mother was upset because this guy was a doctor, he had a good job, he was really sweet, uh, and she left him for some guy who works at Target. And, um, and that's how they put it. I don't care where you work, but they were like, he worked at Target. So I'm sitting in the car like, this is stupid. And uh, on the way home, then I say to my mother, uh, yeah, that's wild. You know, kind of like me being gay. I know it wasn't the best, but that's how I said it. And she was like, that's not funny. And I was like, yeah, I'm not laughing. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, all hell uh, went down after that. For the next month, she's been raining hell down on me. But I was still going out partying, going to the clubs or whatever, doing whatever, <laughs> you know. And one day I came home because I did a, a dance audition for these guys that were supposed to be doing some movie. And I was waiting for, uh, for them to call back. By then there were not cell phones. I mean, cell phones were starting to become a thing, but it was still the voice machine or whatever. And shit giving it away. And I japped out on her. Cause I'm like, why the fuck is you giving away my shit? I didn't uh, ask you, I'm working. I worked two, I was working two jobs and going to college. I was doing a lot at that time. And I was like, I'm not even bothering you. So why the fuck would you, I ain't cussing her. And I'm like, why are you giving my stuff away? And she said, if you have a problem with it, you can get out of my house. And that's when I realized this has nothing to do it, it was all about the control, which, and me being gay, which honestly, I don't even think that matters, because the narcissist is just about the control thing. I was like, oh, 
you kick me out. All right, I'm out. And then I saw the narcissist break for a second because now she's about to lose her supply. I mean, at this point, she had adopted three more children, but her golden child was starting to break. And then she's like, so where are you gonna go? And I'm like, well, what does it matter? You just told me to get out of your house. So that is my coming out story. Littered with pain. And it's okay. I mean, that was, wow, that was 20, 20 years ago. So, I think I'm okay. Um, the one thing she did not want me to do is music. And the one thing I do is music. Uh, yeah, she was not supportive of anything that I did. So, that was not a productive or a uh, loving place to be. But, yeah, so. Hopefully we'll be able to have more fun discussions. I'm hoping that this was something for someone out there. I know I'm not the only one with a shitty coming out story. Uh, and by the way, 20 years later, she has not changed. But then narcissists never do. So um, if you had a narcissist for a parent, I'm so sorry for you, hopefully. You don't then repeat the habit of dating a narcissist. That typically is the situation, and that happened to me more than a few times too. Until I realized what was really going on. But um, yeah. So I hope we'll see you in the next video. Keep me the task. <laughs>